Well, if you can hear me, uh, then that's one part of this. If you can see me, that's the other part of this. So hopefully you can have both of those. Uh, thanks so much for flexing today with baptism, letting us do it out here. Uh, if you've never witnessed water baptism before, uh, this water is not holy. Um, and what is happening today is not that people are being saved. They have been saved by the grace of Jesus, and we are giving them an opportunity to give a public testimony of that. In 2 Corinthians 5.17, Paul writes, If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. And so what we're going to do is we're going to visually represent that and then as they're going down under the water, that, that old is going away and the new is being raised to life. So we've got five baptisms today. Uh, the first one is a testimony you haven't heard yet. And this is uh, James Orcutt. So let's celebrate him as he gets in the water. James began to attend uh, Cornerstone uh, during our series on prayer this fall. And uh, God has been working in his life. And I'm going to let him, if you want to just sit down, put your, sit down. yeah, okay. yep. No. Let him share his uh, story. He's got it on paper. And uh, I'm going to hold it for him. All right. So, here you go. I have counted my days in valleys of sorrow and have felt sickening pa power in a world of pyrite. I have walked on my own and cursed my blessings, but I have always been your child. My heart was hardened. My sight was clouded. You gave me mercy unmatched. I did not see it, but now I feel your power, because I called to you in despair. Your grace, your love is what you gave me. I am redeemed. In your eyes, in my eyes, I see I'm not alone. I will stand tall and walk with your love. Face my fears and bury my burdens. I'm not who I was, I'm becoming who I'm meant to be. You have my love and devotion from now to eternity. O oh, Father, O oh, Father, this is only the beginning of a covenant so, old, so holy on earth as it is in heaven. Thanks, James. James, have you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ? Yes. And is it your intention to follow him for the rest of your life? Yes. Well, it's my privilege to baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Super grateful that James's dad flew all the way in from Lake Tahoe to celebrate this baptism today. This is Blake. Uh, you heard his testimony on video uh, a little while ago, and uh, he is going to be joined, uh, baptizing him with me, is uh, his uh, close friend, David Richards. So, uh, Blake, we've heard your testimony today. And uh, I just want to reaffirm, have you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ? I have. And is it your intention to follow him and give him your yes for the rest of your life? It is. Well, it's an honor and a privilege to baptize you with David this morning. I know that he first invited you here, and he's played a big role, and I'm grateful that he'll continue to walk with you as you follow him. It's our privilege to baptize you as our brother in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ, raised to walk in newness of life. We now have the Rawlings family here, and uh, I believe it's Nicholas has asked his uh, older brother Jacob and his dad Tyler to baptize him this morning. that are here and your friends and family that are here and maybe not here today are so very proud of you and the young man that you've become and we're excited to be a part of this step in your journey and to see what God has in, in your journey ahead so Nicholas have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior yes and it is your intention to follow him for the rest of your life. Yeah. Then it is my honor and your brother Jacob's honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm gonna pull your jacket off. That's okay. 
I've made, I've made that mistake myself. Our final two baptisms today are uh, the sisters here, and Brian is going to baptize them, their dad. So let's welcome them into the water as they get started. Who's going first? So, Kaylin, uh, my, your mom and I are just so proud of you, your growth as a young woman in Christ. We pray that this public confession of your faith is just the beginning of a life dedicated to loving God and loving other people. May the grace of our Lord be with you through all your days, and may you stay faithful till he comes. Have you placed your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins? Yes. Is it your intention to follow him all the days of your life? Well, then it's my privilege to be able to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Evelyn, you have been such a joy to your mother and I, and we've been so proud of the young woman we're seeing you become. We pray that your passion, your love, your desire to care for other people would just continue to grow, that God would use you powerfully for his kingdom purposes, and that you would continue, like with your sister, to grow in the grace and truth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Have you placed your faith and trust in Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins? Yes. Is it your intention to follow him all the days of your life? Yes. And it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. One more big round of applause for all of our baptisms today. Thank you so much for sticking around, and uh, we'll see you guys on Christmas Eve. Take care.